Okay, you ready? It's my job. Just because I'm, I'm so amped. Hey everyone, a few months back, I changed my dining room into my office slash playroom for Jed, and we built a super cute desk that I love so much. And now it's time to add those towers, so that's what we're building today. Two towers that will store a ton of things. All the things. All the things. Let's build it. Let's go. So typically our first step in a build like this would be to go to Home Depot, get our Pure Bond plywood and have them rip it down for us. However, we decided to save a ton of time on this project and order our Pure Bond from Shelf Help. So some of the benefits of Shelf Help are you're able to go in and kind of configure your design and they will cut your plywood down to size and edge band it to you and ship it to your house. So take a look at this. It comes already flat packed like this. So this is gonna be one of our shelves right here. It's got all of our plywood, cut to size, shipped to my door, saved so much time, and it eliminates the need for a truck or trailer to get it home from Home Depot, waiting on the nice guys to cut it at Home Depot, and you're able to build stuff with less tools. It eliminates the need for a table saw, and sometimes you're able to build stuff with just a drill and a driver. So our first step is going to be adding our pocket holes on our shelf boards. Like I said, one side's gonna already be edge banded for us. Super awesome, saves a lot of time. And I'm gonna be doing three to four, four. I'm gonna be doing four pocket holes on each side. These are my short ends, so these are 15 and a quarter inches wide. And I'm using my what, Ashley? Craig Jig 720 Pro. <laughs> so this is our very favorite model of Craig Jig. It's their newest and latest and greatest. And it just saves so much time, super user friendly. Today we're only gonna be using three quarter inch pocket holes. So it won't need to adjust, but if it did need to adjust y'all, it would take no time at all. So you can see I'm adding four pocket holes and we're gonna have five of these shelves. So we're gonna add four pocket holes on each side and these will attach into our side tower once I get them done. Although I'm gonna let Ash help with the next one. One shelf, ready to go. And I didn't even have to cut the wood. So Whitney has already drilled the pocket holes on all the shelves and it's my turn. I am drilling three quarter inch pocket holes at the bottom of the side pieces. And it just so happens this barely fits with the roof. Okay, all of our pocket holes are drilled. Now it's time to start assembling the cabinet. The frame of these cabinets is going to be one by three boards. So I've already cut these to size. This one's 15 and a quarter. It's gonna be our base piece. And I'm going to attach this one using pocket hole screws and wood glue because it's on the bottom, it's more structural. Um, but the ones on the outside will be nailing and gluing after we get everything attached. So I'll go ahead and get these first. Look at her looking out for me. Ashley, you're so kind. Safety okay. first. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they say about us. <laughs> Safe, safety Sam's right here. And I'm running out of glue because of my husband. So I have lined that up flush and I'm attaching it with wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws while my sister holds it for me. Cool, two more. Okay, now we're gonna flip this up and put it back on our sawhorse. Is, sawhorse is, sawhorse I. <laughs> to add our drawer slides and shelves. Thanks, Ash. Ready, set, go. Go. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add drawer slides because it's the easiest place to do it. So I'm gonna, I've marked where they need to be. These are 14 inch drawer slides. I can link to them in the description box. And I've marked where they need to be from the base that'll show that to you in your plans as well. And I'm attaching with the, with the included screws. What are you doing, Ash? I'm watching you. Are you watching? Are you learning? Support, yes. Are you learning? Well, you Do you are need me running. to hold anything? No, I just need, I don't think, I just need steady hands. And I need a bigger, a bigger bit. Bit. Yeah, that was such a bit. Cool. <laughs> so Ashley's gonna work now. Watch her. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> I am attaching shelf number one, and we did, like we mentioned, we did order these edge banded on 
the edges that you're gonna see. So make sure that if you get yours edge banded that you are facing it the right direction. So my edge banding will face this way. How's she doing? She's, she's doing pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm watching over right now. I'm more on the, uh, on the operational side right now. Just making sure things work smoothly. Also, I actually need a working shelf at the end of this, so. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Thank you so Absolutely. much, Benny. I appreciate it. Um, Ash got the first shelf on, so I'm just working my way up. That's my last Pause for family. diesel. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see how much easier it's going to be getting that. It's so loud, sorry. Can you get me four pocket hole screws, Ash? Four pocket hole screws coming. Thank you. Pocket hole screws, stat. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna get these attached same way. And you can see how much easier it's gonna be getting that drawer in now that we've already added the drawer slides. Oh, if I can just, if only I had a clamp. Here, if a only shanty you clamp. had a shanty sister. I know. There she is, that's the money. There we go. Yeah! All from me. And one more in. All right, this is gonna be so cute. What have we always said about building your own cabinets? That it is so much easier than putting together like an Ikea piece of furniture. And if you've built one cabinet, they're all basically the exact same thing, just different me measurements. Yes. The, body, the body of the cabinet is the carcass. That's her favorite word. <laughs> okay. Carcass. All right, third, third shelf, you wanna do it? Or yep. would you like me to do oh, the honors? Yeah. Does okay. it go inside of this? It does, Ashley. See where the S is? Oh, we're getting Notice a little Notice how prepared closer. I am. We really are, there's not, like, not much more to this. I was just thinking that. And I gotta go pick up an order from Target with your Target card? Yes! Yay, okay, I will hold, do the honors and hold this for you. Really though, shout out to Shelf Help because it saved so much time. It, it is a little bit of an investment. You know it costs a little bit more money because you're paying them to do some of the work for you. But I think for some people it might be their only option in getting plywood back to their house too. Well, and if you have, if you live in an apartment, I could see this being Oh, huge. A great yeah. resource to use if you want to do a custom piece of furniture and you don't have the space to build. Definitely. You can have a drill and put the stuff together right here. Not right here, but you know, like in your apartment. It's a good thing you've got skinny little arms there, Ashley. Yeah, good for something. <laughs> no one else really likes them, but... <laughs> Thinks my arms are good together. for something. <laughs> God turns because every negative I'm... into a positive. <laughs> so, so, so. The final shelf is gonna be our top one, and I'm gonna face the pocket holes up on this because I'm assuming I don't have any seven foot friends that will be looking at the top of it. So, I said so again. You say, anyways. Anyways. And again, I want my edge banding facing forward. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll take this setup off and we're gonna put our other side on and get the drawer slide attached before we flip this over and attach that side. Me and my skinny arms will get this. Yeah, look, she is stronger than she looks, people. She is stronger than she looks. She's hiding a lot under that sweatshirt. <laughs> Where did I put it? Well, I figured you were going to lay it down. Oh. <laughs> got it, guys. She's got it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. Do you need to put the foot on this one? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do first, is listen to Ashley. She did something right, guys, look at this. You have, Ashley, there is hope. Okay, so we are adding the foot on this side. I'm putting a little wood glue, and I don't have to be careful with it, because we now have more wood glue. Do you wanna hold it, and I'll do the first one? And I'm gonna hold this. She my clamp. With my tiny arms. <laughs> Useless arms, little doll arms. <laughs> little Barbie arms. <laughs> All right, so our foot's on, our drawer slide's on, and now we can flip the first part of the cabinet over, and we are gonna do this. We're not gonna walk away, but we're gonna add some wood glue on our lines first. So, 
That way, it's already ready to go. I'll, I'll get the other side of the cabinet. Thanks, Ash. She's really strong. <laughs> Even though she has really tiny doll hands. <laughs> Don't do anything. She's also really sore today. <laughs> All right. So I've got my wood glue lines in place. You know what, I'm gonna help you because we're, we're not here to prove your manhood, okay? I'm not here to prove my manhood either. Okay, whoop. So we can flip it over. It's really, really great having a, ha a hand on this one. Even if it's a tiny hand? Even if it's a tiny useless hand. <laughs> it's never built before. <laughs> and we'll start with our top one and kind of work our way down. And that's why you definitely want to mark where definitely. your cabinets line up. That way everything's nice and square-ish. Here, I'll hold. Come on. Will those hands to do it. It's hurting my tiny hands. I'll do just the rest. Kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> Okay, we've got all of our shelves in place. Now we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna start on our top side and we're gonna add the trim pieces, the one by three trim pieces. And then we'll flip it over and get the other ones attached. So we yeah. are gonna start on the front and we are using brad nails and wood glue to attach just the trim. Cause this is the part that is not, she's trying so hard to show us how strong those tiny hands just are. Just trying to do my job. <laughs> All right, so I've got the one by three, just like the bottom feet, but this one's gonna be nailed and glued. It's not structural, just for, just for pretty. And so I'm adding a line of wood glue. It's actually gonna be two, one on each side. And we're using one and a quarter inch brad nails. Okay, and let me make sure I got it nice and straight. Ash, you wanna do that side? All right, so I've added wood glue and I've got my first one by three right here. So let's get it nice and flush. And you want it to be flush all the way down to make sure we clear. I'm flush up here, you flush. I am flush. It is, for sure. This is like the most satisfying part when you're doing shelves, when you can bend the trim yes. and make it and, line up with the cabinet. Work. Yeah. So I'm adding wood glue on this trim piece now. And I am covering up some of the edge banding, just the design of it, but the shelves are still gonna show. It's gonna be super cute. So with the, we were saying you just needed a drill or a driver to build. I guess you would need, you don't even have to have a Craig jig, I guess. But if you're not adding trim or anything, you can literally build a custom cabinet system that you've had help designing with shelf help and pull it out of the box and build it with just a drill. And a mallet and a <laughs> clamp, <laughs> two sisters. Okay. okay, so we've got our front trim pieces on. We're gonna flip this over and do the exact same thing on the back. Tiny arms, go. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I have cut down the wood for the back of the cabinet. I did it in two pieces because I wanted to. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanna know where I'm gonna be nailing this to the shelves, so I'm just gonna take a little mark on each side. This is the back, nobody's gonna see this. And I'm just marking where I'm gonna go across with the nailer, just to make it easier. And then we're attaching this with our 18 gauge stapler because it's going through a thin material, the stapler holds a little bit better than the nailer. Nailer works too, I just prefer the stapler. So you wanna go ahead and yep. do the honors, Ash? You worked hard, you deserve it. <laughs> it's one thing your hands can do. Okay, so we have got this whole cabinet built and now we're gonna be able to do the drawer and the door. So let's get this thing set up and get the drawer built. It's gonna be so cute I know. too. I'm excited. I never get anything for me. Definitely a beginner build, I think. Definitely, definitely. Definitely. So we're gonna build the drawer now. This entire thing is gonna be built with half inch plywood. Um, so I actually just purchased a two by four little, what, a panel, a two by four panel at the hardware store and I've ripped down my sides. The sides are gonna be four and a half inches deep on the table saw, and then the base of it is gonna be um, on the measurements on the plan. So first thing we're gonna do is attach our, and I actually did it wrong. So the first thing <laughs> we're gonna do is attach this to this. Our longer sides are gonna be 
um, our longer sides are going to be front and back. So they overlap. Good thing you notice that. I, I know, always do that. I do it often, so um, I'm, I'm actually glad I noticed too. And I'm using my uh, stapler again, per Ashley's advice, thankful for that, with one inch staples to create my corners and attach everything. And wood glue. Did you wood glue? Uh, yep. Good. Just making sure you're doing things uh -huh. right this time. Okay, now I'm adding glue to the bottom of this drawer frame that we built. Okay, and make sure the front is flush, the back Where's the front? Let's just make this right there. Front. Yep, that'll work. All right. Okay, drawer is built. Are we good? Yep. Okay. Woo! Looks good. And now we'll go ahead and pull the drawer slides out and get it attached to our drawer slides. And it works perfectly. This is so cute and it was so easy. So I have a really fun idea for the drawer face and also for the door for the base. So I'm gonna let you go home now, but I'm gonna get inside and get to work on my Glowforge and get that printed. I'm gonna go get lunch. I had a great idea for the drawer face and the door frame. I found the cutest file and I used my Glowforge laser printer to cut it out. And I think it adds so much to this piece. I love it so much in this space. Whitney, I love how these towers turned out in your new office space. It's so much storage. I know, I love it. I can store all the things, and they were so much fun to build. Honestly, using shelf help made such a difference. That's probably the most annoying part, is getting your plywood cut and getting it home. This saved us so much time. Y'all be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Happy building. So I knew I wanted to, no. I found a great file for, so I had a great idea for the door frame. Ah! Build and order our plywood, our pure bond. It was so close! Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right. All right? Okay. Ready? All right. Honestly, what have we always said about making your own cabinets? It's Don't like, do it. Yeah, exactly. Like, this Just, is such a joke. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Just kidding. It's going to fall apart again. anyway. <laughs> she, uh uh, flip it around. Yes, flip it around. Yeah. Thanks, even Jeffrey saw that. <laughs> I can't talk about things and work at the same time. But if I would do it for you, but my hands are too tiny. <laughs> and sore from eating. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else thinks we're funny. Jeffrey, I think most Jeffrey people that leave and don't come back, it's because we're obnoxious. <laughs> I should probably be more insecure about it. But um, y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another video.